Hello friends, welcome back to the another tutorial from Cloud Portal. And today in this video, we are going to see how to create release pipeline. Okay. So in our previous videos, we have seen uh, how we can push our code from local repo to remote repo. Okay. And uh, uh, in another video, we have seen how to create a simple CI pipeline. Okay. So in today's video, we are going to see how to create release pipeline okay so for that i have an image okay so uh, now we now we know what is azure portal and how how it is looks like okay so this is our azure portal azure devops portal okay and this is our repository so uh, which your code we want to deploy is here right so if you compare it with this image okay so your code is here we have already seen how to create ci pipeline okay so with the help of ci pipeline uh, we install tools build solution run test package artifacts publish artifacts okay so if you can see here in our ci pipeline we have got one artifact right so artifact we already have hello world app dot web dot zip artifact with us right so what we have to do we have to deploy that artifact okay uh, so we'll create a release pipeline which is which is also called as continuous deployment so for continuous deployment we just have to if we if i go to this pipeline okay and what is mean by continuous deployment uh, means as soon as a um, developer pushes the code to the repo okay the pipeline automatically will get triggered okay so that option is here so if i edit the ci pipeline and if you click on triggers then there you can see enable continuous integration okay and then uh, on which branch you want to enable that continuous integration you can select that branch here so currently i am having only one branch master branch okay and so for continuous deployment we are going to create a release pipeline okay so we are going to create a stage like development stage only one stage pipeline we are going to see so there are also multi stage pipelines also there okay but uh, today we are going to see only dev stage pipeline so in multi stage there are another stage like uat then uh, production okay but we are going to see only dev stage pipeline okay and after that we'll push our code to web app so this app service will use azure as a app service okay on azure uh, we'll create uh, one app service and we'll deploy our app there okay so we can see the uh, final our website running on that uh, app service okay so this is all we are going to do or we are going to see today okay so never wasting much time we'll start with our today's video so as i told we are going to deploy our app into uh, app service okay so first we are going to see how to create an app service okay so i am going to my azure portal okay so this is my azure account i have already logged in into my azure account okay so here we are going to create a app service so you can search here like app service okay you have to click on this okay then you have to click on create then uh, we want to create a web app so we'll uh, click on web app okay after that you have to select your uh, subscription so i am only having one subscription uh, so i am going to select that okay so this is azure pass sponsorship subscription and then uh, we have to uh, select a resource group so i am going to create a new resource group like uh, demo rg yeah okay then we have to give a name to our app service so i'll give name as a dev app dev app service 
okay or else it is not taking that name so i'll give name as a dev app demo yeah that's fine then uh, we have to keep this like as it is because we have to deploy as a code okay so we are not using any docker container static web app we are deploying our code as it is okay so runtime task so for runtime task here you can see dot net 7 is latest so if you are using any older version so the newer version will definitely going to uh, support the oldest version okay but uh, let me show you how you can check your uh, runtime task okay just go to your project okay go to your repo and then go to your project just click on that and you can see here so currently i am using uh, .NET runtime x 5.0 okay so i'll, I'll uh, anyway i'm going to select the latest one that uh, definitely going to support that um, .NET file okay then um, operating system i'm going to select windows then region east us then is uh, there is no any specific reason for that i'm just selecting east us okay then app service plan mm, then uh, i'll just create new and give name as a deploy to web okay let me run deploy okay deploy to web okay then we'll uh, keep the pricing plan as uh, standard s1 as it is then we we'll click on next okay then continuous deployment uh, we don't want to use this because we are using uh, deployment through azure DevOps portal okay so we'll uh, just disable we'll uh, not select that then we click on next then enable public access uh, we'll keep that on and network injection will keep uh, keep as off okay then inside uh, enable application inside then we'll just select it as no then we'll give no tags then just click on next and then click on create okay so it will take around one minute to create okay so uh, we'll just wait for a minute okay okay so as you can see uh, it is still in process uh, meanwhile we are going to uh, create a service connection okay so if you can see here to like we are going to deploy our uh, .NET Core app to app service right but there need to be connection between our Azure DevOps portal and that Azure subscription that we are using and where we have created that um, app service plan right so for that we have to create a service connection okay then we'll just go to our project the project name is cloud portal okay then we'll go to project setting okay and then you can find your service connection okay we'll click on that or we'll uh, and then we'll click on create service connection so for azure we'll uh, everyone knows that we use azure resource manager that is ARM template we are using for azure so we just clear, click on that azure resource manager and click on next okay then uh, select service principle automatic click on next okay then it will list the subscription that i am currently logged in okay and you can see uh, it has taken that subscription okay so if you see here that my subscription starts with double e one zero a e four five right and it has double e one zero e four four five and it has taken that automatically okay then you have to select the resource group so i think we have to 
here so once that subscription is listed here you have to logged in okay so you have to provide your username and password okay so this is my account and i will provide my password here okay once you authenticate with your username and password uh, your subscription your resource group uh, all the resource group from your subscription are going to list here okay so my app service plan i have created in demo rg so i'll just create uh, click, select demo rg this is the resource group where our where we have created our so our app service plan is created okay and that app service plan we have created in resource group demo rg okay so i'm going to select that demo rg then service connection name i'll give as a deploy to web stage okay and click on grant access permission to all pipeline and click on save so now you are thinking what we why we have created this service connection so while creating the release pipeline uh, we are we have to provide this service connection to deploy the to use that app service on which we want to deploy our web app so if you see here the app service is created and if i click on browse then you can see the default app service page okay so once we push our code to this web app uh, this content will get replaced by our code okay that uh, we have in our azure devs repo okay so now let's go to our project okay now we let's go to the pipeline okay so in pipeline go to release okay then click on new pipeline okay so once you click on new pipeline let me show you so this is this is the console look line so i'll just give name as a deploy to deploy to dev okay so this is our pipeline name then we are going to add a new stage here so as i already told you that we are going to deploy our app on azure app service okay then just select azure app service deployment uh, this is the second one deploy java app to azure app service so this is for java application but we are deploying our dotnet core application so we will select this one first one okay okay then we will give give the name as a dev stage okay first we will add the artifact so this is this artifact will come come from our ci pipeline that we uh, that i have shown you in previous video that how to create ci pipeline okay so we just select our repository name okay and then uh, whichever the latest build it will take from there okay then just click on add okay so now our artifact is added here okay now just on dev stage click on this link like one job one task you are able to see click on that okay now here we are going to select azure subscription okay so we are not going to select azure subscription we are going to select our service connection that we have created few minutes ago okay we will select that okay once you select that this will automatically come then we will select on web app on windows okay and our app service name okay so dev, dev app demo so if you see in our uh, azure subscription i have created this app service dev app demo okay and we want to deploy our app to this app service okay once you selected all this just simply click on save click on okay okay and click on create release okay so you can see dev stage is this is not selected this is now selected just click on create 
okay and just wait wait and watch now click on release okay so you can see this job is in queue okay and if you see here this is the uh, web app default page is showing now so once the our this pipeline got completed this page will going to be replaced by our code okay so see you can click on log and you can see the job is initialized okay artifact has been downloaded okay and the stage deploy to azure app service is started okay now it is in process so it will take uh, one and a half or two minutes okay so let's wait for that Okay, it is showing the successfully deployed web package to app service, but it is still running. Okay, once green, once this will uh, convert into green tick, then you are ready to view your code on Azure app service. Okay, so we'll wait for a few more seconds. you can go to release yeah so uh, as you can see the deployment is successful and you can if you can cl click on release and go to this one okay so you can see the our app is successfully deployed on azure app service okay web app that we have created so as you have shown here that is this is the default web app page and i have already told you that once that got completed once that release pipeline got completed this code gonna be replaced by our code so i'm just going to refresh this page okay and you can see here uh, we have successfully created the release pipeline and we have successfully deployed our code to web app service okay that we have created in our azure portal okay so this is for today's video hope you like this session please subscribe to my channel hit the notification icon and keep watching and keep learning thank you